So here are the things he, Donald Trump told me about that, that night, that night that he raped me. Um, uh, first of all, just to know how I used to look, I was in all that jazz and I was the dancer, the blonde dancer who shows up kind of in the middle during the airplane thing. And I wouldn't even put myself in the movie, um, it was just, so, it was, that was so much work, but nobody could do that one dance step that, that was the only thing I could come up with. Anyway, so that if you want to see how I looked when Donald Trump asked me out. So, um, he said that the reason why he sent me for a facial was because his mother felt that skin was very important so he wanted to make sure I looked my best now somebody who just turns 15 does not need a facial didn't want the facial he wouldn't believe me that I didn't want it that I didn't want the oh every woman loves a day of beauty um, you're going to be so beholden to me, and I'm like, uh, nobody, mm -mm. nope, 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 so, um, I don't want it, I don't want the day of beauty, and then when I went to pick out a dress, um, I told the shop owner that, um, that I, uh, I really didn't think I'd make it all the way to the date, because the date wasn't until that night. So evidently, um, the Donald was spying on me the entire time. He, he watched me at the beauty parlor. He had put some surveillance cameras around the beauty parlor, and um, then he watched me while I was getting dressed, and I think he might have even put a surveillance camera inside the dressing room. Um... And then when we got to the date, he kept saying, when I got to the Metropolitan Opera to meet him, he said, oh, I see you picked the most expensive dress. And I said, oh, was it? Because he wouldn't let me look at the, um, the price tags. So, yeah. And I, I, uh, said I just picked the one that looked the best and the shop owner agreed that that one looked the best and so I picked that one and he said oh no you picked it because it was the most expensive that's what women do all women do that don't be shy about telling me that's what you wanted so he 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 told me this like his mother was a god. This is what he told me in 2003, that both he and his mother were gods. That his mother had sent him on 12 dates. She didn't let him start to date until he was 24 because he, she felt he was too immature and he'd make the wrong choices. And um, he was stupid. He must have told me his mother thought he was retarded 20 times during the, I guess it was two hours that we talked, um, but that he, uh, his mother wanted him to rape the women that he dated. And that's, she got him the drugs and would film him raping the women and then killing them. The first girl that he killed, uh, he was very upset about that. So his mother had him keep doing it until he wouldn't be upset. And then he realized that he, uh, he was, what he had to do was not show her that he was upset. And, um, and then she, and then he, I guess he met Ivanka, I think her name was, and he didn't want to kill her. So he asked his mother if he had to keep drugging and, and raping the, the women he dated because this one he thought he could make a life with. 
So she agreed, and she said, he said that she said, oh, I thought you wanted me to watch you rape the women. And he said, no, Mother, I did that for you. I thought you wanted that. And she said, well, I, I want to make sure that you, you know, since you're a god, I want to make sure that you're having sex right and that all women don't move. They don't move during sex. That was why she was having him drug drug the women so that they would behave the way she taught him that women behave during sex. And he said that his mother used to move around when she had sex, so he didn't really know what she was talking about. But because she was omniscient, he had to believe that that was true. And even after even after he stopped drugging the women and found out that actually women do move around during sex, um, he, he still he still shunned the idea that his mother could be wrong. Even though time and time again when he would have sex, women did move and and also he so I kept trying because he would tell he was telling me these wild stories and I kept questioning them and he said if his mother were here I would be killed she would have me killed for questioning her so that's really bizarre um, and and this is why I really think that uh, sexual abuse is the worst thing that you can do to a child because he has no ability to think for himself. And in fact, the moves that he's making now as president that are driving everybody crazy um, are moves that his mother told him if she were president, these are the things she would do. So... Uh, the other thing is, his mother was, I believe, Ava Braun. His mother was a friend of Hitler's. His mother would, whenever they needed money, his mother would say, why don't you arrest a Jew? Because, according to Donald, Germany at the time, if you were arrested, your property became... Uh, property of the state. You, you didn't have access to your own property. So what they were doing, or and Hitler were doing, is uh, arresting the Jews and then stealing their property, their, their, th their belongings, which oftentimes would include a, a lot of jewelry. Uh, he said like co gold and crust, gold and jewel crowns and I guess some of them were tiaras with diamond tiaras and things like that that um, were very expensive items and so if once they would arrest a Jew they would take that person's belongings and then sell them they had a, a good black market um, deal going with the fences in the area and but then his mother was concerned because once the Jew was out of jail um, they of course would want their their belongings back and it was all gone it was all being fenced and they knew lawyers, the, the uh, Jewish people knew lawyers and had their own lawyers oftentimes and um, started to sue the state to get their belongings back. And that's when Trump's mother decided that once you arrest them, you have to uh, kill them. And that is the reason for the genocide. So it really had nothing to do with the color of their skin. Um, just that that she that 
Trump's mother knew that the Jewish people were the ones who were the wealthiest people in Germany. So uh, arrest them, take their belongings, and then kill them so they can't come back and sue for their belongings back. Are you following this? Because it's, it's, so, so this is the woman who was his mother. I mean, just a cold hearted bitch. And, um, that she had stole, now, Ava Braun, according to Donald, what they did, how they, they faked their, but this is pretty well documented that Hitler and Ava Braun faked their deaths and, um, and, and then left the country. And Ava went to Belgium and had uh, Donald in tow at this time as a, as a tiny infant. Oh, um, I think she may have still been passing um, placenta or something on the train to Belgium. And, um, and of course, uh, Adolf went to Brazil. And I don't know the route that he took, but she said the the way that they got away with that um, um, people thinking that they had killed themselves was that they found two people who looked like them, killed them, put Hitler's uh, little mustache. Evidently, all he had to do to to walk around in public without being seen was take that little mustache off and maybe put a hat on and nobody <laughs> nobody knew who he was that was his disguise was his own face so they put Hitler's little mustache on the corpse and uh, one of and Ava's clothes and her wig one of her wigs on on the woman corpse and uh, to paid paid the um, police to say that it was a suicide and that it was in fact them and she and she, and Donald said that his mother told him it wasn't even that much money like they didn't they paid the police like ten thousand dollars which back then let's say was worth close to a million but I mean like I can't imagine take these small amounts of money that people take as bribes and 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 that ruin the world um, bo bo boggles my mind you know when you hear about the politicians taking sometimes it's like twenty five thousand dollars and they end up it, it to keep quiet or or to put a bill through that ends up hurting. A half a million people. I mean, I, I, twenty five thousand in your pocket when you are somebody who owns six houses. It's not you know you go out to lunch on that, and still, you you make it life difficult for half a million people for twenty five thousand dollars. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me, um, but. So Hitler walked, and, and Eva Braun came to New York. Now, um, well, I just say that she had... Okay, the reason why the Trump, Trump is now saying he's 70, which means now he's only six years older than me. When I went out with him, he was 12 years older than me. His birth certificate, she has, Ava asked, his mother asked for, for phony birth certificates because she wanted it to look like Trump had been born in the United States so that if he was to become president, he, she knew that you had to be born in the United States to become president. Um, so she asked for birth certificates for both of them. By the time she got to New York, though, Donald was four, or I guess six, and the birth certificate showed him as a baby, 
because she didn't specify that her son what what his his age was and the person doing the forgery assumed it was a baby so Donald said he spent a lot of time on the couch with his thumb in his mouth all curled up and some people would uh, question whether or not he was uh, as young as as she was saying he was but nobody you know nobody knew that it was a fraud that she was defrauding she never would have been able to pass the uh, the test to come in as as an immigrant so she knew she had to be a returning citizen in order so that nobody would question her the other thing Donald said was that she had a trunk the size of my hearth. Now, I had a coal stove in my little old house to keep warm. Um, and the hearth was about, it must have been about six feet by six feet. It was big. And he said that sometimes they would have about 12 men to pick up that trunk and move it for her. And the last time that they moved it uh, was the last time that moving company said they wouldn't they wouldn't pick that up again because guys were getting hurt. It was, I mean, imagine a five by five by five um, trunk filled with gold. Now gold and lead weigh the same or about the same. Gold is really heavy. So, uh, it was, she, she said, he said she took as much of the treasure, they called it treasure. Um, couldn't you imagine? I mean, they killed, oh, and that, that's the other thing. They killed six million people, according to, according to, uh, history. But anybody who said that was... A victim she would have them killed now it's a fact I mean it's a fact it was six million people and yet she was killing people for for telling the truth she said she kept saying to, to Donald no that it was only a few hundred people maybe a thousand but um, six <laughs> so he said to me well I will believe you what you say, how many people did my mother really kill? And I said, six million. And he said, way to go, Mom. So this is the guy in the presidency right now. Um, so the reason why, he said, the reason why his hands are so tiny is because when he would do something wrong or he didn't understand one of the lessons that his mother was teaching him, she would bind his hands because she likes small hands. So, uh, and, and he said one time she broke two bones in my hand tying them up like that. So, I mean, you gotta feel, I do, a little bit sorry for the guy. The other thing, oh, yeah, she put him, put him to bed strangely. But, I mean, you meet him and talk to him for five minutes, and you, you know, it's like, it's pretty classic shaken baby syndrome. He's, he's brain damaged. Um, and, and if you've ever seen, I saw it once, somebody shake a baby to put it to sleep. What they're doing is they're giving the baby a concussion. And, uh, like what they have learned with football players is, uh, if you have more than three concussions and sometimes one concussion can do it, you get, um, permanent brain damage. And so now I think either the football players better be real quiet about getting a concussion or they cannot play anymore after the third concussion, which is only right because um, 
Well, I told you the story about Phil Sims, didn't I? The real Phil Sims is is bedridden because he is tied to the bed because he will kill himself if he gets free because he has such bad brain damage that he can't function and he is in tremendous pain I mean even when they said even when they give him the highest dose of morphine he is in so much pain that he just screams all the time so they put him in a basement somewhere and they keep him chained and tied uh, and they hire people when somebody wants to hire Phil Sims to um, you know do a promotion for something they'll they hire someone to play Phil Sims uh, because they can't let anybody know how badly brain damage is for football players. At any rate, uh, shaken baby syndrome is the same thing. It is a series of concussions that cause brain damage, permanent brain damage. Uh, so he found it very hard to learn. And so his mother would pretty much torture him, I think. Um, because he would shudder. He would say, oh, well, what she would do to me. Oh, and she told me that schools were worse. And I asked him what kind of, you know, geography. Because he didn't know. He had never heard of the, the country Turkey or Syria. And I asked him if she taught him, because he was homeschooled, if she taught him, um, uh, you know, geography at all. And he said, no, just how to, we mostly, how to shake hands, um, how to um, be polite, and how to um, look presidential. And that haircut, that hairstyle, that, that his mother approved of for a presidential hairstyle. And, uh, and the, the lips that his mother approved of that face for his presidential face. So that's what he did. He spent his days practicing that face and how to comb his hair like that, and that was his homeschooling. And that's why he doesn't seem to know pretty much anything that people learn in school. He also said that he um, 